Hello everyone, I am Narc Survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Please hit the thumbs up button down below to show your support. Hit subscribe and click all notifications to be notified when I upload a new video. And if you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, just go to my website, it is narcsurvivor.co.uk. The narcissist needs the relationship to break. There is one tactic that narcissists always use in every relationship they get into, and that is the bait and switch tactic, which is a fraudulent activity where they lure you in with false claims. And then once they know they've got you, they will switch it up on you because they need to interrupt, disturb and interfere with the relationship. They need to prevent it from continuing normally. They, ha they need to stop having a close relationship with you by changing a course of action that they previously had before. And the reason for this is because their brains are wired differently. So they are not interested in normal functional relationships. It doesn't do anything for them because they had these unmet emotional needs in childhood but they never got what they wanted. Their emotional needs were never fulfilled and instead they were abused or neglected. So now they find pleasure in seeing you squirm, in watching you experience discomfort, distress, nervousness, embarrassment, humiliation and pain. You may enjoy connecting and getting to know a person, but for them, what really makes them tick is watching you go crazy, which is why they will use the push-pull cycle, because it serves their insatiable need for validation and control, which is what they thrive on. So when they pull you in, your adoration validates their inflated sense of self-worth. And then when they push you away, they regain control by keeping you anxious and off balance. They have difficulty maintaining relationships and communication. They are afraid of intimacy because of their own disordered attachment in childhood with their parent or caregiver. Where closeness or love was connected with emotional pain and suffering because they were abused or neglected. Sometimes they may have been showered with over the top attention and over indulgence, but then other times they experienced cold attachment or emotional abuse. So it was never safe for them to feel attached to their parent or caregiver because their parent or caregiver couldn't consistently show them authentic love over a sustained period of time which resulted in them feeling rejected and unloved to where they are now avoidant, disorganized, anxious and resistant because they are terrified of criticism or rejection, which is why they can't be intimate or vulnerable. They don't ever want to go through what they experienced in their childhood ever again, which is why they now choose to be on the other end of it and they enjoy seeing the process of seeing you go insane because that's exactly what their parent or caregiver did to them. So now they want to watch you going through it. And that is why they typically start off the relationship with love bombing to give you a feeling of intense excitement and happiness and to make you feel confident in yourself. Love bombing releases dopamine in your brain which contributes to feelings of alertness, focus and motivation. It makes you feel like you're doing something right. Dopamine is the reward chemical and it is the most highly addictive of all of the hormones in your brain. So when you associate a certain activity with pleasure, mere anticipation may be enough to raise dopamine levels. And narcissists know how to lure you in. They can act charming and charismatic. They can make you believe that you're about to experience the most amazing thing in the world. But once they've trapped you and they know you're not going anywhere, it's like they just suddenly disappeared. They stop texting or calling you. They're nowhere to be found. 
but initially they led you to believe that you were going to share a future together. And now you're sitting somewhere alone, wondering what happened to it. Or you're constantly trying to get back to how things were before. But no matter what you do, you can never quite get back there. They might give you bits and pieces of it, because they want to push you to the verge where you feel like you're very close to doing or having something. They enjoy the process of seeing you agitated and confused where you're doing all of these things for them because it replicates what they had to go through in their childhood. So it gives them a thrill to watch someone else having to go through it. And because you're an empath, you will just keep giving more and more of yourself. You will keep pouring into them because you feel sorry for them after they told you about their ex or maybe they had a difficult situation at home and they will make you feel needed until all of a sudden they will ghost you or they won't respond to you in the way that they did before and it may make you feel like they've just lost interest in you but all the while they're watching everything you're doing they create these unpleasant events to push you over the edge and to make you experience a loss of control so that it causes you to behave unusually and ab abnormally because it makes you feel unappreciated especially when they're watching your every move and they're mocking and ridiculing you and they're not responding to your texts or paying your money back to you or pretending as though they don't remember things that are significant or important to you until you finally start to look elsewhere or you decide to leave and as soon as you do that they will pull you back in and they will say whatever they thought you wanted them to say up until that point after they just pushed you to the edge because they're training you to snap faster and faster to where you suddenly stop being calm and then you become angry or frustrated because the situation has become too tense or difficult. Because over time you learn that as soon as you do that, they will come back and then you will get a positive response. They're training you to react in this way so that it fulfills an emotional need for them, which was never fulfilled in their childhood. And it's why they love to break the relationship and then tell you that no one loves you and even your own family doesn't want you because it's like a drug to them. They feed off drama, trauma and chaos. It excites them and makes them feel alive. But it's no good for you because you didn't have that type of upbringing or you had enough emotional strength within you to be able to respond to it differently, which is why it doesn't resonate with you and instead it's destroying you to where you feel trauma bonded to them because you don't understand how it can be so difficult for them yet so easy for you. So you keep trying to fix them and make them better but they're maladaptive. They're stuck that way. So it's just going to suck the life out of you and destroy you emotionally, physically and financially because they can't be vulnerable and they can't self-reflect because they abandoned their true self a long time ago. So they're only looking for sources of supply. They don't even care about what's happening to you because they have no empathy. Which is why you need to use the grey rock method. Stop investing your emotions into them because they're parasites and they need a host. They need someone who they can attach themselves to while making you believe that you have no value when they're actually only attaching themselves to you because you have an abundance of value. They just used a dishonest plan to gain an advantage over you. They tricked you and they're only breaking the relationship so that they can pull you back in and get more supply so that they can continue to drain you. Which is no good for you, because you deserve better and you deserve more. And they know that. 
which is why they emit a blade and gaslight you. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.